It's One Piece Nation here today with my review of Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, I'm, I'm going to be jumping around a lot to kind of give my overall thoughts on the movie. Don't expect a detailed breakdown of it. If you want somebody to tell you everything that happened, go watch somebody else's video. But, uh, really good movie. My personal favorite Spider-Man movie. You see, the problem, in my opinion, with most Spider-Man movies... And then they either cast an actor that's a really good Peter Parker, or an actor that's a really good Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire is a good Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield is a good Peter Parker. Or the other way around. I don't remember. I'm still sick, but I'm recording this. The point is, is that these characters, these actors, are good at playing either Spider-Man or Peter. Tom Holl Holl Holland. Tom Holland <coughs> is, was born to play this role. This movie is so much fun to watch, guys. It is so much fun. The fact that uh, Liz's dad is the vulture, I remember Peter opened the door and I was just like, no. no. See, what the movie does really well is it sets up the fact that Peter's not ready. And he screws up. He fails. But then, he learns his lesson. He gets the suit taken from him, and Tony tell, pretty much tells him, If you can't do Nick without the suit, you don't deserve the suit. So he goes... And he beats the vulture without the suit. I was wondering if we were going to get that shot of Iron Man and Spider-Man flying from a trailer. But that was just a trailer shot. We never had to, We only saw them work together. Well, we never saw them work together. And that Iron Man's only actual scene in the movie is great. Tony Stark was the character, but Iron Man wasn't. Iron Man showed up one time. To save the boat. And took the suit. A very funny movie. What am I saying? It all has a lot of hidden humor too. Like, you don't, like, you, you see he's wearing these really dirty clothes. Then remember, he, he, he tells the uh, Iron Man or Tony Stark, they're not wearing any clothes on their neck. And he's like, oh shit, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out, kid. We'll do something about that. And they grab a garbage. Close out of the garbage. Like, you smell like garbage. <laughs> so that was funny. Um, Really good movie. I really... I was worried about the high-tech Spider-Man suit. I saw it, and I was like... It could be really good, or it could be terrible. It was really good. Oh my god, I loved it. Yeah. Because the problem is that the whole moral of the story is the suit is awesome. But if, but if you can't do these things with, and you can't save the day without it, then you don't deserve it. It's really good. Um, but I also really like, I also like, I've always been a fan of the web shooters. I, I just, I like the whole idea that he didn't become like, incredibly fighter-like. I like the uh, web shooters, like the mechanical ones, but that's just me. But I liked how they did how he had mechanical web shooters, but it's not like, oh, well, web shooters stop working, and then he has to run away or something. It's stuff like that. Or how they, uh, they address things in this movie, like, what the hell does Spider-Man do when there's no building to grab onto? And he has no idea what he's doing. Spider-Man caused, causes more damage in this movie than the Vulture does. And that's what I'm going to tell you that now. The villain. The Vulture is amazing. Most Marvel villains are like, I am evil! I want to take over the world and destroy my city! I am so evil! That's not Vulture. Vulture wants to provide for his wife and daughter. That is it. <laughs> and that's going like he and he's not and he just he's 
selling the really powerful weapon to criminals. And people are going to die because of it. We saw this with the ship. And we saw this with, when he fought the uh, bank robber. Which is another thing I like. This movie does not make Spider-Man out to be an Iron Man or a Captain America-like hero. No, he is a street-level hero doing street-level things. Like, when he fights the bank robber, that's probably the best he does against anybody without screwing it up for the entire movie. And he manages to screw it up. If they had just had regular guns, he would have beat their asses. Um, Happy Hogan was amazing. Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow as uh, Pepper Pot returned in this. No, I thought he was done with the Marvel movie, but apparently not. Apparently Tony Stark got a girlfriend back. You know, that's a thing. That was weird. Um, yeah, I don't have a ton to say on this movie. It, it, it was really good. I think what's the great thing about it is that all the characters... In, I think it was a high school movie, too. Like, but there's like 30 minutes of this movie to take place in high school. And I feel like that worked, because it isn't Tony, this it isn't, it isn't Iron Man, it isn't Peter Parker. This is a Peter Parker story, hence the name Homecoming, the Homecoming Dance. The problems in the movie are like, gotta ask the girl out, I've gotta, it's not like, oh my god, my best friend is evil and it's the Hobgoblin. No, like, in, in this guy's mind, like, the big problems in his life are the villain. And you want to know what problem number two is? <coughs> Asking Liz to go to the dance with him. That is great. <coughs> Hershey, stop. I'm recording a video. I apologize. I'm not editing that out, but this is about to be over. But it, it's a really, really good movie. Um, that's great. The entire thing is great. MJ, there's that reveal with MJ. There's the end credit game with uh, Scorpion, I believe. The only thing in the movie that really annoyed me was the second end credit scene. Screw you! And the thing with Captain America being like, you know, patience is a virtue. But sometimes I'm like, you're really patient. And you end up wondering, why the hell did I just waste 10 minutes of my life waiting for this? And I proceeded to want to punch somebody in the face. I sat there for 10 minutes. Watching the credit. That was very angering. Um, yeah, but the movie very, very good. Very much enjoyed it. Uh, the Iron Man stuff with Tony Stark was great. Aunt May. I wasn't sure how I, how I felt about Hot Aunt May. Yeah. This Aunt May was amazing. The end of the movie. <laughs> that is my favorite line. Whole movie. What the fuck? It's like you see him, he gets the suit back. He gets the suit back. And he's just like standing there with his, with his, with his uh, mask off. And you just hear a, you just see Aunt May walk into the room. What the fuck? <laughs> and, and then you just see him just turn around. It's like, hi Aunt May. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <coughs> Great scene. Great scene. I love this movie. This may be my favorite Marvel movie. I know I say that like every time, but this is... No, no, no. This is my favorite Marvel movie. I absolutely love it. I, I think what I like about it so much is that it's just all the characters feel like teenagers. All the old spider man they never felt like teenagers. I, I, I they always felt like college students, kind of. And Nick was very much about Spider-Man becoming Spider-Man without the origin. By the way, the, the way they, they handle the origin is it, great. It's a two minute, it, it, it's literally a ten second conversation. Dude, you got rid of it. Dude, how do you get the power? Got, got, got bitten by a radioactive spider net. Really, that's awesome. Oh, oh. And Net? 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 Yeah, Net, his friend? Great. Like, can I be your guy in the chair? Like, just, yeah. 
Love that guy. Fair lining when he is their part of the movie. What about their part when he is being the guy in the chair? But to the person comes in, he's like, it's a dance. What are you doing? And he's like, watching porn. <laughs> it's like, yes. It's like, yes. He has to lie and say he's watching porn to save his ass. And it's really good. I also like how Peter chooses Spider-Man. Like, he's going through some kind of like, cry, like, like an identity crisis. He's like, what's more important, Peter Parker or Spider-Man? Because he has a chance to go hang out with the girl he likes in a, in a swimsuit at night, unsupervised, and eat candy. And he chooses to go be Spider-Man. And that is what I think made this movie so good. It is an incredible movie. And that part is, because it's Spider-Man and not like a big hero, because of what the theme of the movie is, I don't feel like I was seeing a ton of movie get set up. It felt like it was preparing Spider-Man to have other movies. But in that kind of part in becoming, but in that part of becoming Spider-Man, right? But this is like an or this is like the story of how he really stepped up, and he's like, I know my place. And one of my favorite scenes is at the end, where Tony Stark's like, Welcome to the Avengers, and he's like, No. Even Tony Stark's like, Are you, are you saying no to me? And then, and then you, of course, you think he's not going to get the suit, but he walks into his apartment, and you see the suit in a bag, and just, that's a good movie. Such a good movie. 10 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. The acting, everything about this movie was perfect. And the other character didn't take away from it. The Captain America, uh, like, uh, PTSs, or whatever they're called, the Captain America things, were great. They cool. You know, so you're in detention. I mean, for Andrew, you're watching what's a great line. Um, where he's like, the Virginia teacher's like, yeah, Captain America. I'm pretty sure he's a war criminal now, but uh, whatever. Just don't tell your parents I'm showing you videos of war criminals. Absolutely love the movie. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the videos you did, and subscribe for more videos. The One Piece Nation, signing out.